Thank you for choosing to use Spider Tech Therapy. We're going to cover some of the general principles of application, keeping in mind that taping is an art and it must be practiced and please be patient during your applications as you want to ensure proper application. Principle number one is that the skin should be clear of any hair. There should not be any creams or oils on the skin. If hair is there, you can clip it with a set of clippers to make sure that the tape properly adheres to the skin. Principle number two is that the tape should not be applied over broken or damaged skin. And a small test piece of tape can be applied for clients that are not familiar with this form of therapy, just to test as to whether or not any irritation will occur. It is very rare that a small portion of the population may experience some irritation. If irritation does occur, remove the tape and gently wash the skin with warm water. Principle number three is have each application fully applied and allow the client to wear for approximately one hour before engaging in any athletic exercise or shower. Principle number four is that the tape is water resistant and breathable and can therefore be worn during bathing and showering. Gently press over top of the tape to dry the tape off. Avoid any rubbing motions. Principle number five is that the application can be worn for up to five days. After five days, it is recommended that the application be removed and a new application be applied. Principle number six is that for each section of each application, the beginning and the end portion is applied with no stretch on the tape. So for example, with the shoulder application, we stretch the muscle, remove the backing, the beginning portion is applied with no stretch on the tape, then we may stretch the tape to our intended point of application and the final inch to inch and a half is applied with no stretch. Once applied, gently rub in the tape to activate the glue. Keeping in mind that the beginning and the end of each section is applied with no stretch. Principle number seven is that when handling the tape with any of the applications, avoid touching the adhesive on the back by keeping your fingers remaining on the backing of the tape. Touching the adhesive will diminish the ability for the application to stay in contact with the skin for the intended duration. Principle number eight is that as you peel back the backing of the tape, peel back small portions at a time as you gently allow the tape to come in contact with the skin. Once 90% of the section is applied, then you may peel off the entire backing and then smooth the tape in contact with the skin. For principle number nine, during the application of each section of each spider support, once that section is applied, 
you need to rub the tape to activate the glue. Start by rubbing from where you started to where you finished. This will ensure no creases will form in the tape. Rubbing of the tape activates the glue and allows for the support to be worn for the intended duration. Once again, rub from the start towards the finish. Principle number 10, to demonstrate the principles of applying a sensory application, always apply the base of any application with no stretch on the tape, and the body part in a neutral position. For sensory applications, you want to think about always stretching the muscle group that you're applying the tape over, and not stretching the tape. So we would flex the wrist down, stretching out the extensors, and then as I bring the backing of the tape off, with no stretch on the tape, I lightly adhere it down on the intended muscle group. Until about 90% of it is applied, then I tear the remaining portion of the backing off and apply the tape, rubbing over top from the start to the finish like so. For principle number 11, we will review structural applications. For structural applications, where your intention is to prevent ranges of motion that may be harmful, you want to remember that the muscle is now in a neutral position and the tape is stretched. So we stretch the tape, not the muscle. Let the tape come in contact with the skin until about 90% is applied, not stretching the final remaining portion of each section. Peel back the backing of the tape, apply stretch, let it come in contact with the skin, and the final remaining portion, no stretch, letting it come in contact with the skin. Once again, stretch the tape, let it come in contact with the skin, and the final portion, no stretch. So for structural applications, we stretch the tape, not the muscles. For principle number 12, the removal of the tape, you can start to peel back the tape itself, take your finger, press in on the tape as you pull back, pressing along the skin, which will decrease any type of discomfort sensation that a patient may feel. Do that for each piece, pressing in and down. Avoid removing the tape when it's wet, as that may cause more irritation or discomfort for the client. 